All right, everybody, we are here with one of the representatives of, of, of affiliate Liberian Dogs. Uh, he's going to be sharing with us his own views on the businesses in Liberia, the act businesses in Liberia. And he's going to be giving us a few um, narrative of things that have been happening here, how business is and everything. Also, he's going to be sharing with us the prices of some of the things that they sell here. So how are you, Chief? I'm okay. Okay, your name, please. I'm Onismo Ipewe. Onismo Ipewe. You're welcome to Liberian TV Network. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, basically we are around. We've seen your work and we are seriously impressed by what you do. But first we want to know, um, how is business here? Is it like uh, you just do the work and people are not buying it or what? what is, what's the case? No, business is going on small, small. Okay. The pandemic issue that affects the whole country is also or difficulty we were facing okay. when we were in the virus situation. All right. But now it's going down small, small. So, um, I mean, buyer coming from other places and buying small, small. All right. So that means business is at least going on. Yes. All right. So, um, I mean, as business is going, there are challenges I want to believe. Yes. So, could you share with us some of the challenges? Yes, uh, some of the challenges we're facing here is the material aspect. Okay. But all, right. all of the uh, equipment we need, and if we're to go on faster, we don't have a financial strength to purchase all the materials. Okay. So we need a government intervention to help the main or any other um, pressing individual and interesting to help also, at least for all the uh, elevator and the business. All right, so that's the challenge. I mean, uh, people to come in because people are not really coming in to help uh, the, the the work. Okay, so I mean, it's, it's a good thing that you have you have recognized and identified our challenge. But equally, so I guess there is uh, there's a kind of benefit because <laughs> I mean, everything that got challenged must have a benefit. Yes. So I mean, what are some of the benefits that uh, you have in this work? Ah, uh, some of the benefits at time we can. Um that is sometimes if an NGO person or somebody from an NGO organization comes and purchase from you, through that the person can sign a contract with you. And that contract can be a long term uh, spending contract. Okay. And you can benefit from it for a long period of time because if that person recognizes the work you're going to do and then you do it perfectly, having a good person has your mind at any other time they want some hard work. Everything is coming to you so you can okay. produce that. So it's more the benefit we achieve from it. So there are, there are many young people outside of uh, this environment who are involved into act work, but probably they don't have the kind of equipment that you got. Are you kind of calling on them for partnership? Are you open to partnership or you just do your things all by yourself? Oh, yes. Yes, we've been encouraging other people, we've been acknowledging other youth to join us. You know the business we're doing here? The trade will learn, some are getting old, so okay. if you're old, you have to get replacement. All right. So definitely you have to talk to someone that, you know, will come and, and replace you. So okay. we talk to other young guys, but some of the things we're really facing here, like I said from the previous stage, is materials. All right. Because if you have a tools, and you'll be able to produce more things, at the same time, you'll be able to call more, more people, people to learn. Okay. So, and furthermore, we need an art center, okay. where we are now. It's pretty small, All right. so we knew we, we need a, a large area that will be able, you know, to, to, to teach people for who to come and learn. Okay. At least, you know, in majority, but yet we don't have a wide space. Okay, so um, that that is to say that you you are open to partnership, but considering your space yes. and uh, the limited materials, yes. it's difficult to find people coming in or to have people coming in, right? Yes. Okay, I mean it's a good thing. The fact that you are open to partnership, I mean it's a good thing. Yeah, as time goes on, people will come in. So, uh, have you have you really been able to uh, communicate with people from the diaspora, Liberians from the diaspora? Are they really interested in the kind of work you do, or you have noticed a situation where Liberians are ha having interest in other foreign works than your work? Thank you very much. They communicate with all of people from the diaspora. Uh, some NGO can bring. Uh, Agencies, some churches can bring members and then we can go to the church and tell them, show up a product of them, what we can do. They can be impressed, sometimes they buy from us. Okay. But actually, our government officials, they are not buying acts from us. If you travel all of African countries, now, Gambia, if you travel Guinea, government officials engage into this work and then recognize it when the Ghana 
the Richard Ghana Act, you will know that government actually engaged into it. So the people who are doing the hard work, they really rest their mind because government have their own mind. So that's just one of the things we really need from government. So in short, you're calling on the government of Liberia and uh, fellow Liberians in the diaspora, or uh, even here in Liberia, to you know consider patronizing the work. I mean, and that's a very good thing. I seriously have interest in that because for a fact, everything that you that you do here as a Liberian, there's a need that uh, people come and promote it because whenever your work is being promoted, Liberia as a country is being promoted. So um, I mean, I seriously start with you on that, and I also like to add my voice to yours to call on the, our government, uh, other citizens of the country who are here and abroad to help patronize their work. Oh yes, uh, let me say this to you, you know we have another ministry in Liberia. Sure. For which, for us we form on a ministry of information, culture and tourism. Yeah. So all the ministry in Liberia, they have their ad work sure. in their offices. Yeah. That is, they, you know, they have people who do the ad work in Liberia. Mm -hmm. Then if any other person from us in Liberia will enter in that ministry and see that ad work place, that the, that the emblem of Liberia, the yeah. of Liberia, yeah. the car property in place in that office, any other guests that only come and see the appearance. Yes. There are artists in Liberia. Yeah. But normally, sometimes we get a gift and we expect them to come back at least to elevate us. But they can't stand up. You see? So I'm asking all government officials, people from the diaspora, all the Liberian citizens, any other person are interested in this and they work. We are calling on them to come to our need to seriously help us. Okay. All right, Chief. So uh, before we leave you, uh, we'd like you to share with us your contacts because uh, everything you have said and with what we have seen, there are a series of good things that people will have interest in. So uh, to, in order to contact you, we'd like you to give us a contact so that we share with the public and then they will be able to contact you directly. Okay, thank you very much. My contact is uh, 231-770-4392. Okay. Nine seven. Okay. The second one is plus two three one triple eight eight two nine two nine five. All right. So do you have an email? Yes. Of course. Okay. My Yahoo is O N E R S M U S fifteen at yahoo.com. Okay. And the Gmail account is P A Y W A Y O N E R S mus15 at gmail.com all right chief so thank you very much it was actually nice speaking with you thank you okay bye-bye